Hi guys, today I'm giving you the ultimate commission guide for artists. I have returned with more experience, more knowledge and better video editing skills so that I can help you either get started taking commissions or help you continue taking commissions effectively. And what's even better, I finally have a place to send you guys a free and safe platform for you to host and take your commissions. Allow me to introduce artistry.io. They reached out to me and showed me the platform and as I was checking it out I realized how badly I needed this back when I was an active commission artist. And they realized how badly I needed to update my commission guide, so here we are. <laughs> so obviously this video has been made possible thanks to today's sponsor who is Artistry. I decided I wanted to work with Artistry because their platform is a very very helpful addition to our art commission community. But more on Artistry later though, let's jump right into the commission guide. Let's start by going over the basics. What is a commission? In online creative communities, a commission is referred to as a requested piece of work for which the creator has received payment. In the art community specifically, it means that someone, a customer or a client are paying an artist for artwork. When artists announce that their commissions are quote unquote open, it means that they are currently taking on paid work. What's very common in the art community is that an artist with commissions open will upload or display some sort of menu with products and prices. The menu is most commonly referred to as an artist's commission info because it holds all the information about the artist's different commission types. Commission types are the different variations of artwork that artists offer. And this can vary a lot from artist to artist, but there are also some recurring commission types among the majority of artists. Here's a pretty classic example of an artist's commission info. This fictional artist is offering three kinds of commission types. A portrait slash bust, a half body slash thigh up, and a full body. These three commission types has two variations each sketch and color. Additionally, this artist offers something called extras, which can include additional characters, pets or companions, as well as a background, all of which adds to the price of the commission. Something you will also commonly see in artist commission info is their do's and don'ts list. Some artists will add a list of themes that they are not offering to draw. Here you would typically see stuff such as violence or not safe for work, sometimes also mecha or certain animals. Likewise, they might add a list of themes that they love to be hired to draw, such as covers of all genders, animal features, ears, tails, etc, fan art, your OC and more etc. Once you've planned out what types of commissions you'll be taking, it's time to add some price tags as well as uploading your info. To get your commission info out to as many as possible, I would certainly recommend uploading your info to your main social platforms such as Instagram, DeviantArt or even Twitch or YouTube. However, I will strongly suggest taking the orders from a dedicated commission platform. And this is where artistry comes into play. This was the missing link in my old commission videos, okay? I've checked out and tested the platform for a while now and I can honestly say it's a great site. What I personally value the most is the fact that they've created a safe platform for artists to host and get paid for their commissions. There are far too many commission horror stories out there and Artistry has made it one of their missions to provide security for artists in an otherwise sometimes hostile place called the internet. <laughs> And I'd like to very personally recommend my fellow artists out there to check out Artistry and consider using it for the commission work. And here are three reasons you should choose Artistry to take on commission work. One, Artistry is free for artists to use and it lets artists keep all of the money from their commissions. There are no fees to pay. The artist keeps 100% of their earnings through Artistry. And that's possible because the fee, although it's quite a small fee, is being paid by the client. Reason number two, Artistry provides a safe platform to host and sell commissions on. As an artist, you can create a request form including your custom commission info. The platform offers safe payments for you as well as the client. And additionally, it offers a dashboard to help organize your commission orders. I'll show you some more cool features this platform has to offer in one minute, but third and last reason, for every commission sold through this platform, Artistry donates to plant a tree.
So, the platform lets the artists keep 100% of their earnings, it's completely free to use for artists, and it's green. In comparison, Fiverr takes 20% from the artist, Upwork also takes 20%. Even on Ko-fi, the platform takes 5% of the artist's earnings from commissions unless you're a paid member. And even then, you are still charged a transaction fee. Even using PayPal for receiving money is going to cost you a transaction fee as well as a flat fee per transfer. You will sometimes see artists charge clients the PayPal transaction fees or ask them to send the money to them as a personal transaction. But that is actually a violation against PayPal's terms of service. So by doing these things, you're actually putting your PayPal account at risk. In other words, every platform wants a piece of your cake except Artistry. Artistry even offers a messaging system where you can chat with your client about the commission. The messages and the client's approvals of the commission are being collected on Artistry's site to defend the artist in case of a chargeback. So you can and should freely advertise your commission info everywhere, but then add a link back to your Artistry request form and send your clients here to place the order. Let's go over how to price your commissions. Prices for commissions vary a lot depending on many factors. For instance, are you taking commissions for fun or is it your job? Meaning, are you dependent on the money or not? Do you have previous experience in working as an artist or even at drawing? If commissions are a part of your work, is it full-time or part-time? How long does it take you to draw? How much do you pay in taxes, etc. So many factors. However, one factor that all artists should include when pricing their work is time. Make it a habit to start time tracking your art. Take the commission types you want to offer and start noting down how long it takes you to draw the different types. And remember to add one to two hours on top, which counts as time you spend talking back and forth with your client. If your time tracking varies a lot, you can always just take an average. Let's pretend this is some artist tracked hours. Now we can calculate an hourly wage for this artist, which we can use to estimate a price. The last time I talked about this, I mentioned that first trying with the minimum wage for where you're located. So for a commission of a single character, half body with a complex background, the time spent runs up in approximately 11 hours. If I were to then multiply the 11 hours with the hourly wage we decided, I should charge $82.5 for this commission. And mind you, this is based on a number close to the minimum wage. Luckily for you, you are probably an independent artist, so you don't have to work for a minimum wage. You can charge whatever you want. Because remember, the $82.5 is only for the time spent on the commission and one hour talking to the client. You still have to think about taxes and being able to put money aside if this is your job. It's less relevant if you are less or not at all dependent on the income from your commissions, of course. So aside from the calculation I just presented, here are some general advice I like to give when I'm asked about pricing commissions. Don't get pressured into charging less for your art. Some people make up the crazy stories about relatives dying or being sick just so that you will lower your prices for them. Others might threaten you to go to other artists who can do it cheaper than you. Some might even have the audacity to lecture you about how bad your art is and how you should charge less or nothing at all. These are all scumbag trash people and they are not worth one second of your precious time. Don't give in to them, just ignore them and block them right away if possible. And here I'd like to add that one of the reasons that Artistry is not an art commission marketplace where customers can look up all the artists on their site is exactly to avoid bidding wars. Okay, so let's quickly go over commercial use. You should consider charging more if your client wishes to use your work commercially. According to Artistry's terms of service, a client is not allowed to use your commission commercially until your approval has been granted. When I sell a commercial license, I usually base the price on the size of the client's business. For private commissions, I straight up do not allow commercial use. For small businesses like independent authors or other artists, the fee is much lower compared to the fee for large businesses. For large businesses, it's not unheard of to charge 50 to 70% of the commission's price on top of the final price. 
And for whatever reason you should be in doubt about your pricing, remember that art is a luxury. Not everyone can afford it and it's definitely not your problem. Now that your commission info and prices are determined, let me show you how to set it up on Artistry so you can start accepting commissions. You go to artistry.io and click on the button Artist Sign Up. Fill in your info, verify the email you'll get and now you can log in. Your dashboard will look like this the first time logging in. When you start receiving commission orders, they'll show up here in this dashboard so that you can keep track of them. Click on the user icon and select profile. First, go to payment settings from the menu. Here you can set up a connection to Stripe and PayPal. Choose which one you prefer. And now that we're sure that you can receive payment for your work safely and secure, go to commission types. As you can see, I already have a few commission types set up, so let me show you how to do it. It's actually really easy. Scroll down until you find the Add New Commission Type button. It's probably located at the top if your profile is new. When you click it, a blank form pops up. Based on your commission info, fill in the type, estimated delivery time, the minimum price, also called the base price, and the estimated max price. Add how many available slots you have for this type of commission at a time. I'll get to more options on slots later. You can also mark this commission type as waitlist or close this type entirely for the moment. In this field here, you can add your additional info. I'm going to copy mine from my other commission types up here and alter the info so that it fits this commission type. First, I write a few sentences about what is included in the base price. Then I add my extras. Then I take my minimum or my base price up here and add the most expensive extras or add-ons I have and put them in my estimated max price. Of course, the price can still go higher depending on how many extra characters or details my client adds. But once a client places a commission order, you'll get the chance to give a final custom price based on the info that the client provides you with. Lastly, you can upload references that act as examples of your commission type. I've gone ahead and added some text on each example to show what kind of background is in each example. You don't have to do this, but standing in the shoes of the client, it would be nice to see. Then before you move on, remember to hit the save button down here at the bottom of the page. Now, if you go to the request form in the menu, you'll be able to see your commission info. This is also the page that the client sees. Your client then chooses a commission type, submits their contact info, adds a commission descriptions, as well as up to five reference images of their character. They also have to check or uncheck whether or not they wish to buy the commission for commercial use. Remember what we talked about just before, this should affect the final price if you accept commercial commissions. See this little area here that says Natty Axel will not draw? As the artist, you can create a don't list. Go back to your profile and under commission settings, you can add keywords or sentences of things you will not draw. It's also here that you can set your total amount of open commission slots or close commissions entirely for the time being. And remember to hit save when you're done. And lastly, go back to your request form and here at the top you can find your URL. Use this URL on your commission info across all of your other platforms to make sure your clients know where to place their commission order. You can also just use this request page form as the primary hosting page of your commission info. Remember, Artistry is completely free for artists to use. And it's time for the ancient question. <laughs> now that you're ready to take on commissions, how do you actually get someone to order from you? Obviously, the bigger your social following is, the higher the chances for getting commission orders. And if you find yourself not getting any orders, you should keep posting personal work and developing your skills, as well as grow your following. This will all make it easier to get commissions in the future. And here are some general advice for getting your commissions noticed. First of all, be visible. Make sure you're very clear about your commissions being open. On Instagram, add it to your bio for everyone to see. You can also add a call to action that points towards your artistry page by including your URL. Create one or multiple stories with your commission info and pin them to your profile. Remember to include the URL to your artistry page on your stories. And now you can even pin regular posts on Instagram, so make sure you upload your commission info and pin it to the top of your feed. 
And remember to use hashtags in your commission post too. A lot of potential customers actually follow commission hashtags. On Twitter, people can easily reshare your posts. So if you use Twitter, be sure to add your info here as well. You can also post your info in dedicated commission areas, such as on DeviantArt's commission forum or the commission Reddit subpage. You should also consider your target group for commissions. Looking at your art style and the things you like to draw, do you appeal more to certain communities? There's actually a huge difference between appealing to people within the artist community and the people outside. People outside the community include, for instance, regular family people who think it would be fun to have the family photo drawn, or non-creative businesses who might need illustrations done for a project. Think about where your target audience spent their time online and be hacking sure to be visible there. Roleplay communities especially hire a lot of artists to draw their characters, so these places are great to check out. Then there's always the question on how to get paid. Unfortunately, it's very common that artists aren't getting paid until they've finished the work and sometimes, sadly, it results in the customer ghosting the artist and not paying. I will always advise to get at least 50% of the price up front and then the remaining 50% before handling over the final file, especially if it's a new client that you don't know. But I'd rather just recommend you use Artistry for payments since the artist gets paid the entire amount up front. It's safe for you and your customer. And in case there's a two-faced artist who tricks a customer, yes, those exist as well, <laughs> sadly, Artistry also protects the customer and can help to issue a refund. The security you get on Artistry is for both parties. And remember, on Artistry, you keep 100% of your earnings. And just a few extra general commission advice before I show you an example of taking a commission. First, have good communication with the clients. The best way to avoid unpleasant commission experiences is by having good and honest communication. If, for instance, you're falling behind either due to illness or sudden changes in your workload, your client would actually like to know. Yes, it can be daunting to have to write an apology saying that the commission will be late, but it's way better than not saying anything at all, leaving your clients in the dark. So always have good and honest communication. Secondly, consider to accept your client's orders as soon as possible after they have been placed. The faster you accept, the more likely your clients are to pay. This little piece of info is based on data that Artistry has collected through their own site. And lastly, consider having terms or a written agreement. These things can protect you, your work, as well as your client. If you go to my new commission post on my website and click here on the terms of service free resource, you can find some sample terms of service text that you can copy, alter and use for yourself. Your custom terms can then be added on Artistry, so let's go ahead with a demonstration so I can show you. I'm going to show you this from both the artist and the client's perspective, so you can see how Artistry works when you get a commission request. A client goes to your Artistry page and orders a commission. You'll now receive a notification on email that you have been requested a commission. When you open the commission, you can see the description as well as the references that the client has attached. From here, you can either decline or accept the commission. If you need some additional info from the client, you can at any time use the inbuilt message system. Here you can also attach images for the client. Your client will get an email notification that they have received a message from you and they can reply inside this chat as well. If you accidentally close down the window, you can go back to your dashboard and find the commission in this overview. When accepting a commission, you get to add a final price, a message to the client, and it's also here that you can insert your custom terms of service. Once you have accepted it, the commission will move on to the next step on your dashboard. The client then receives a notification with the final price and they're prompted to pay for the commission. Once the commission has been paid, it moves from awaiting payment onto in progress. From here, you can use the message system to communicate with and send images to a client. However, don't send your commission progress in here though. Instead, use the submit work in progress button to submit your progress images to your client. The client can then either accept the work in progress you have submitted or request a revision on it. You can always check the current status of your commission up here. Once you're ready to submit the finished artwork, click Submit Final. 
And here you can, of course, submit multiple files by clicking on this button again. The client can then either accept the final submission or request another revision. Once the client accepts it, they get to download the commission and for the artist, the commission is automatically closed and it moves to closed in your dashboard. You and the client can then at any time later on return and re-download the finished commission. And that's how easy Artistry is to use. And the site is still in constant development. They're listening to user feedback and implementing all sorts of new features all the time. Remember that the platform is completely free to use for artists and you keep 100% of your earnings and you help plant trees on our planet. Now scooch over to artistry.io or click the link in the description below and start setting up your profile for free today and check out their platform. Seriously guys. And remember to check out the blog post that's linked in the description below. It has a lot more information on commissions and it also has a lot of free resources for you guys. So remember to check that out as well. Thank you so much guys for watching and Artistry Thank you so much for creating that safe and secure platform for artists to host their commission info. And of course for sponsoring this video, but honestly, I really, really just value the platform. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the ding dong to stay notified of my uploads in the future. Until next time, take care. Bye.